Oke, okay. karibu katika kitendo chetu cha leo. Leo tutakuwa tunajadili kuhusiana na Fortune National Assessment Geography 2019. Uko nani mwalimu Teule Amoni? Basi tutaanza na swali namba moja na swali letu ni la multiple choice lina vipengele kumi. Kipengele cha kwanza swali linauliza one characteristic of equatorial climate is In our selection here we have normal A we have data A low rainfall B moderate temperature and C low humidity and D thick forest and our answer here is D D data this is because in equatorial climate always there is heavy rainfall throughout the year and this will facilitate the growth of vegetation like trees hence the existence of thick forest is inevitable and an example of this you can see in the forest of Amazon and in the Congo from Congo Basin so our question one Roman one our answer is D for the Roman two the direction to which compass needles point is called our questions asks us the direction to which compass needle point is called a magnetic north b true north c grid north and d compass barely our answer here is a the direction to which the magnetic needle always point is called it, is called magnetic north and our answer here is A. If we want to explain more, the magnetic north the true north and the Greek north. These terms, sometimes they can confuse a student. The magnetic north is just the direction to which the compass needle always points. But, and this is, and this is because the compass needs to align itself with the Earth's magnetic field. But for the true north, it's just a fixed point. A fixed point where always the group dilates. But the great north, and the Greek north is just a navigation term referring to the direction northward the grid lines of the map projection. In drawings, you can go like this. This one. This is the grid north. This one at the middle is a grid north, but the true north is a fixed point. And the magnetic north, this is the building from the compass as it directs so as it can align itself with the magnetic field of the air. So our answer is A. For the third question, they have asked the cultivation of cash crops based on application of advanced technology is called we have four options we have four options the first one is subsistence agriculture subsistence agriculture hiki ni kilimo ambacho kinafanyika kwa ajili ya chakula kwa hiyo hapa see you and be 
y se la dice que la vincar. Our questions asks the cultivation of cash crops based on application of advanced knowledge is called. For the subsistence agriculture, as I've said earlier, this agriculture involves the cultivation of food crops specifically for food. So this is not true. But B is large scale agriculture. Exactly. Large scale agriculture is agriculture that involves the cultivation of always cash crops. There is high fertilization. And it takes place in a large area. So for this question, our answer is B. For the small scale agriculture, it resembles subsistence agriculture. As you see, local farmers, they just cultivating crops for food. But for the mix, it's just intercropping. So, large scale agriculture is exactly our answer. Number four, the condition of atmosphere that is located for a Short period of time is known as the condition of atmosphere recorded for a short period of time is known as A, climate, B, rainfall, C, weather, and D, temperature. Our answer is C, weather. Weather is a condition of atmosphere that is recorded for a short period of time, specifically a day, but for the climate, this is an atmospheric condition that is recorded for a long period of time, approximately from 30 to 50 to 45 years. For the rainfall and temperature, these are atmospheric conditions. We add humidity. We'll have wind, etc. But its condition is weather. And this for a short period of time, but this climate for a long period of time. And we can see for weather, weather directs the activities that will be performed for a day. E.g., as you see me today. The way I've worn my clothes, this is because of food. Our climate condition have guided myself on which type of clothes can I wear. But with the climate, this will guide me which type of clothes I can buy, maybe for a year. But what don't plan to wear, to wear, to wear today, it will be from weather. What to buy from climate? So our answer. Number four is C. But number five, the four seasons of the year are a result of the four seasons of the year are a result of A, rotation of the earth, evolution.
Lona Eclipse. And so on. The four seasons of the year are a result of the evolution of the Earth. And our answer here will be C. And this is because as the Earth will be revolving around the Sun, it will produce four seasons. There are summer, winter, spring, and after why for the rotation, these results are only day and night. This is just the, pro the blockage of sunlight from reaching either the moon or the earth. So our answer here, the four seasons of the year are a result of the evolution of the earth. And the seasons that are produced are summer, winter, spring, and the autumn. Number six, our question is the seasonal movement of herdsmen between lowland and highland in search of water and pasture is known as the season movement of herdsmen between lowlands and highlands in search of water and pasture is known A. Transhumans B. Hunting C. Pastoralism and D. Agriculture Mind you Agriculture for itself is a general term that means it involves crop production and animal keeping. Crop production and animal keeping. This is general. It involves up to fishing. Agriculture that will be done from both on land and on water. But for pastoralism, this is specific and more keeping. And more keeping. Hunting. And transfer. Our answer here is transhumans. There is the movement, seasonal movement of his men. E.g., they are grazing their cattle in lowland, but due to the lack of water and pasture for their cattle. They should move from lowland to highland so that they can obtain water and pasture like grasses for their cattle. So our answer is A. You can witness from tribes like Maasai, those duos, Kalamajong, those societies that involve themselves with Pastoralism, indeed, they are not fixed with us, they be living in one area, no. In summer, they be in a certain area, and in winter, they be in areas searching for water and pasture for their cattle. So our answer is A, transhumans. This is the seasonal movement of horsemen between lowland and highlands in search of water and pasture. Norman 7, it asks that when does summer solstice in the southern hemisphere occur? When does summer in southern solstice occur? 
It goes like this. As we have said before, that revolution from revolution. The earth revolves along the sun. In its revolving along the sun, there are four seasons that are produced by it. And the earth revolves anticlockwise from the Tropic of Cancer to the Tropic of, Cap of Capricorn. And it starts from Cancer. This is Tropic of Cancer. And this is in 25th of June. 21st of June. And the season that we have here is summer. In 21st of June, in Tropic of Cancer, we have summer. As I've said earlier, revolution takes in anticlockwise way. As the earth will be revolving around the sun, but from the Tropic of Cancer to the Tropic of Capricorn. And then here, from June up to September, 23rd of September. It will be in equator. And we'll obtain equinox here. The earth will be overhead. Equinox. But from the third of September, the earth will evolve again up to the Tropic of Capricorn in 22nd of December. And the season from equator to, Cap to the Tropic of Capricorn, it will be out. But from 22nd of, of December, from the Tropic of Capricorn, and the earth continues revolving along the sun, it will come to 23rd of March. And the season that will be here will be winter. And here again, it will be in Tokinos. At equator. And then from 23rd March back to 23rd June in Tropic of Cancer will have spring season. So you can witness on how these four seasons summer, autumn, winter and spring occurs by year due to the movement of the earth along the sun. So our question has asked us when does summer solstice in the southern hemisphere occur? As we have witnessed, the summer solstice occur in 21st of June. So our answer here would be a Domain 8, it has a feature formed as a result of a long and fairly narrow stretch of land, extensive plains, 
hills or mountain is called, the ask the a feature that is formed as a result of long and fair narrow stretch of land that extend through plains, hills or mountain is called. Our answer here specifically is C. A valley. As you know, a valley is formed as a result of faulting that is the pulling apart of the oceanic crust and the continental crust. As you can witness, this is a law. Primary, it's where to get. We have the layer about there, and we have the second layer, and we have the third layer. After divergence, divergence of the continental cluster and the oceanic cluster. The earth, this crust pulls one another. It comes to create a feature like this. And the third layer. So it has diverged itself. There is pulling apart of the oceanic crust and the continental crust. That's why we see the depletion down there. So this is a valley. I hope we are here. Goodbye. And our answer is C. But number nine, they asked the wind blow from the sea to land is called the wind that blow from the sea to the land is called. Our answer is B. Then, this is the siblings. How it occurs? We have This is the land, and this is the sea. Here, we have the, the sun. So, our questions ask us the wind which blows, the wind which blows from the sea to the land. As you remember, during the day, during the day, there is high temperature on the land. And because land has low heating capacity compared to water, so it wants air. And if on the land here, there is high water, meaning that sea in water where there is high 
there is high heating capacity, water will delay to warm up faster. And if water will delay to warm up faster, we think that here on land where there is high temperature and the land also heats faster compared to water in the sea, meaning that it will create the condition whereby on the land there will be high temperature compared to the sea. And remember, in the area where there is high temperature, automatically there will be low pressure. And in areas where there is low temperature, there will be high pressure. Hence, the wind will blow from the sea to the land. Here, there will be low pressure, but here, there will be high pressure. High pressure. And then, when you will blow to this direction, from high pressure to low pressure, then the air will be warm. Warm the air, and then it will descend again. Descending cold air. So, as I've told you, the wind, wind that will blow from the sea to the land, it will be sea, sea breeze. And this provides the cooling effect. provides a cooling effect on the land and the air. And this is during the day. This happens during the day. Vice versa, it will be during night. Whereby, during night, vice versa, will be during during night and this will be we have land and sea we have land and sea and see, sure. meaning that yeah. during night there will be low amount of temperature. And if there will be a low amount of temperature, meaning that on land there will be high pressure. And in sea there will be no pleasure. And this is because during night, I said, during night, and this is because land heats fast, but it releases its heat early compared to water that warms slowly. But it cools it slow, meaning that the tendency of water to lose heat is low compared to the tendency of land to lose heat. As it won't end, but it cools fast. So at night, where there is no sun, we can say the emission of light rays will be so slow, meaning that land, in land, on land, there will be low temperature. And if there is low temperature, automatically will have high pressure. In this side, in water, where there is high temperature, 
due to the releasing of heat from the absorbed temperature during the moon, there will be high temperature. And if there will be high temperature, meaning that pressure will be low. And if pressure will be low, meaning that wind will blow from the sea, from land to the sea. And this condition is called the land place. Whereby wind blows from land to the sea, as it will be blowing from the region of high pressure to the region of low pressure. It's like this. Okay, our last question asks the time increases by four minutes. The time increases by four minutes for every one degree of longitude when one travels from the time increases by four minutes for every one degree of longitude when one travels from there is answer a north to south b east to south c west to south d west to east and the phenomena of time is explained by a this notation. From a this notation. And F rotates from west to east. If this rotates always from west to east, and if this guides how time will be, and again this guides on where wind will blow, either from west to east or from east to west. So if the rotation, if the earth's rotation is from west to east, meaning that even wind will blow from west to east, and again. People from east will be will have far will be far in case of time compared to people from west. And it's the people from east that are the one who sees the sun first compared to the people from west. And this, as you know, from the logic, if this is our earth. This, this is our prime meridian. Our prime meridian, as you say, here we have zero. If it's zero, here we'll be having 90. And here we'll be having 180. And here we'll be having 270. And here we'll be having. In 160. If the case is this, if you start pointing in such a way, east, south, north, west. Time increases. Four minutes at one degree longitude. Meaning that, mind you, we have 24 hours, is it? In for 24 hours, meaning that for 36 degrees for us to have 24 hours. How it comes? And this is like this. 
I have explained before that the atheist notation is the one that results in the increase in four minutes for one of them. It's this. Four minutes? One degree long term. Sixty minutes? Is for fifteen. Degrees? Long term. For twenty-four hours. This is twenty-six. Degrees long term. It is. If one half is equal to 15, how? 360 degrees. Now today, we'll have how? If you close multiplication here, Divide both by 50, our x will be 24 hours. So, from this one, you can witness that due to axis rotation, as from the direction of west to east, is the one that results into the increase of four minutes by to one longitude. Because of who? the notation. So our answer here will be D data. Our answer is D data. So by this, our question one will be over. So number one, our answer is D. Second one is A. Third one is B, C, C, A, A, C, B, and D.